something I should actually be doing too, because like I'll go on a while talking about PDF files and just making jokes about them, but then there's no real palate cleanser after that. So I'm fully of the opinion that VTubing is a medium of content creation, not a specific genre. You can have basically any type of content out there done through the lens of a VTuber. And today I want to talk specifically about news VTubers, like uh, the Kyoamaru, the false ID types, the Maybe even Penumbral? I don't know that much. I haven't watched a lot of Penumbral stuff. I should watch more. But we're going to go over a video by Static Tokyo. Where he's... Or where they're releasing a video titled The Issue with News VTubers. VTubers are a genre just like how girl is a genre. Oh, abs yeah, girl is totally a genre. Let's watch. Tokyo Sun, bye. News VTuber, drama VTuber, commentary VTuber, TV VTuber, whatever you want to fucking call it. Uh, some people uh don't like us. Drama news VTubers make me wanna. I swear to God, the fact that some people use drama for like their own kind of um, how do I say that promotion fucks me up. Like I hate that. I mean, yeah, you're you're more than welcome to have your own opinion, cause like. You know, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of drama commentators out there that kind of have shitty, how weren't you in this compilation? Because I'm too small to uh, clout shark off of. But um, there's a lot of people that use drama just to get their clicks, just to get their likes. They don't have any specific goal in mind beyond, you know, getting their own bag. And I don't think that's inherently a problem. I do think there is a problem if you're downplaying shit like bad behavior or if you're organizing your follower base to attack people just for disagreeing with you. <clears throat> there are, there's a lot of problems available with that. Did Angel Tail show you, me this? No, it actually popped up on my timeline in the wild, I think. She does send me, or they do send me a lot of stuff. They've got, they, they got, they got, they know their stuff. Back to the video. I don't like these news VTubers, but I mean, okay, that's just my personal opinion. And uh, to be honest, I kind of understand it. Now, I am going to sound hella hypocritical in this video. Hell, I've done a video on a similar topic to this, and I was, I sounded hella hypocritical. Then, but I'm going to run my mouth anyways. The main news VTubers I'm going to be talking about are Kyo, False ID, and uh, Rev Says. Even though Rev Says is a little bit of a wild card in my opinion. Rev, I would say, is not a news channel. He's closer to me. He's a drama channel that talks about public drama. He doesn't actually start drama. He just likes to highlight current drama and then send his viewer base after it because his viewer base is kind of deranged. Uh, as these are the big three that I see most people hate on and reference when it comes to the term news VTuber. Yeah, so people like Toledo, Rima, Underhill. They're Who's Rima? Can somebody get me that link? They seem cool. I know Toledo and Underhill. I like Toledo a lot. Underhill's pretty interesting. I like him too. I have caught Underhill streams live. I've caught at least one or two of Toledo's. But this Rima, I, I want to find out. I want to find more VTuber commentators. I want to watch more of them. I like commentary content. That's my favorite kind of content, if you can't tell, because that's the kind of content I make. Because, like, I'm of the opinion that you should be making the kind of content you want to see more of. I'm just glad I'm able to see more and more. She makes document videos on Hololive members. Oh, okay. She'd be good to keep up with for all that corpo updates. They're going to be brought up maybe, but I really wouldn't consider them news VTubers per se. Okay, let's start. 
the main reason. Yeah, like, I would say there is definitely a difference between... I, I actually... I would kind of clear... Uh, if um, Rayma only does do document videos on Hololive members, I would personally consider her a... Uh, I'm assuming pronouns, by the way. I would consider her a news channel where she's specifically going over updates regarding the Hololive members or, like, the EN ones or whatever. Toledo is a commentary channel that broadly discusses things within VTuber sphere, uh, the VTuber sphere. He doesn't really constantly talk about topical stuff or like the constant topical stuff. He goes into what he likes the most. He has very highly edited videos. Go check him out. Underhill, he does, he's got his T podcast where he essentially just talks about drama and stuff. So if you were to call him a news VTuber, you'd be more correct if you said he was like a tabloid VTuber, where it's he's giving his opinion on stuff that's going around, already made public. Nothing wrong with that. Now, this is the main overarching thing that most people on Twitter and uh, VTubers alike both hate uh, about news VTubers is that they feed off of drama to make money and pump out content. And to a certain extent, yeah. that is true. No, you ain't wrong. You got me. <laughs> However, true. Like, a big chunk of my content is just going over discourse. I like I like to do that. No one's denying that. However, didn't you say the same thing about uh Charlie? Why? And everyone loves him. Shit. At least I do. But I suppose the main difference That was moist critical, by the way. There's also a lot of a lot of big creators that do this type of content as well. It's just they don't typically talk about VTubers. We don't have many commentators. Uh, in the VTuber scene, like, please send me all the ones you know, and feel free to tag me and stuff that you want my opinion on, by the way. It, it helps. The difference between the two is that Charlie isn't claiming to be news, while False ID and Kyo claim, uh, and or was given, the title as news. That is kind of important to keep a distinction of, of uh, whether or not they actually claim to be news themselves. Like, you could, I much more see false ID as, like, a self-proclaimed news VTuber, because that's a lot of the aesthetic he puts in. Kyo is a lot more of a uh, comfy kind of streamer, where he's not going for the ultra-professionalism, so to speak. Because, like, a lot of false's videos, he's in a suit and tie for his VTuber. And Kyo, well, he's in his signature blue hoodie most of the time. Does he have other models? I don't know. I don't watch him that much. Which means they're held to a way higher standard uh, than the likes of commentary. Also, Rev, False, and Kyo, they upload basically every day. Which makes sense, I suppose, since news is on TV 24-7. But for something like VTuber drama and stuff, you don't really get all the details out the gate, and uh, not everybody is going to watch the update video, which could lead to people getting a false sense of a story, uh, which is the opposite of what you would- That's also 100% true about, like, news TV, like, on, on the televisions <laughs> in the before four times when uh, people didn't get all their updates from social media. There was this, uh, you could actually use your TV to watch these things called, what we were called channels at the time. They were run by um, specific companies to play specific shows on this select channel. There was only so many of them. Not, not, not the biggest choice. Only like 200 channels, I think. But that was still a problem. If you didn't constantly watch the news you would still be missing context on a lot of things. Because, like, there are always updates to the stories. There is no denying that. That's actually part of why I like my stream scheme, so to speak. 
where I'm I stream only on the weekends. So if drama drops on Monday, I will have like the entire week of it of the story unfolding that I will have to be able like all that context to be able to talk about. But if drama happens on like a Friday, I will be able to get more topical views on it, but I won't have a more complete story because, you know, I got to I do got to pander to the algorithm gods. Would want to do if you're providing news in some cases channels like underhill provide better information on some topics because they allow the topic to simmer a little bit you know so they can sift out the truth from lies hell that's the reason i haven't covered the whole ant versus fruit topic yet because there's i have i'm gonna be honest i haven't covered the ant versus fruit stuff because i don't even know what happened can you like link me shit on what's going on with that because I'd rather not listen to the reactionary channels talking about it. Because, like, the reactionary channels that I've gone over on this stream have a tendency to lie. Still a bunch of fog in the air about that that I don't want to really be lost in at all. A good example of what I'm talking about is a uh, falsest coverage on the whole Lola loading situation. Uh, which is... Oh, I also haven't even talked about that drama on stream, but I did watch some of it. Um, uh, I'm not even going to comment on it. I really don't know. This is when I first encountered my, uh, issues with his way of doing things. Which, I'm going to say this again. I respect what he does. I just don't wholeheartedly agree with it. When False ID was covering, uh, that situation, it first came out as, uh, Tayaki is the big bad guy and Lola is the victim. Uh, then literally a few days later... You get a bunch of info that Lola Loading isn't exactly an easy person to work with sometimes. Which basically chalked up to, yeah, both of them had issues. Both of them were kind of shitty at some spots, you know? Tyler Studio is still a shithead, but like, you know, Lola Loading wasn't the easiest person to work with as, as well. I Personally, in that kind of situation, I would lean towards, let's shit talk the company over the indie. Because yes, the indie can do bad, but I would say the company has the potential to do far more bad because they have so much money backing them most of the time so the potential for harm is way greater from a company rather than an individual <clears throat> okie dokie thank you for doing that because i am very curious what happened there hey, hey that's all that, that's kind of the truth of it all as much of a nothing burger as that is now to be fair I also covered the story a little early, and I did a major step back with a follow-up video, and uh, I didn't touch that story again. So, you know. You got me. <laughs> well, let's talk about that uh, news title. Now, like I said earlier, these niggas are held to a higher standard than these niggas uh, due to the news title people like myself don't claim that something is fact and uh if we do we urge people to do their own research that's that's actually fairly <clears throat> important distinction like that's why i say allegedly a lot of the time because even if i do have like pictures of screenshots of this shit happening i still gotta cover my ass legally just in case because i don't have definitive or i there hasn't been any sort of court case on this shit and there likely won't be and we provide sources in the description from where we got our info from you know the usual shit news vtubers sometimes become the source itself huh? yeah yeah i i know news have sources no oh. shit but there's been times where news VTubers get like a head start on a story because someone reached out and gave them info first. There was also um, part of the Akio Air situation where Kyo, uh, not Kyo, uh, False ID was directly sent DMs from the involved talents of that agency. So he had information that was not previously made public and been given the permission to make it public. That transparency is pretty important. To, for them to tell. Uh, this does nothing but heighten the expectation uh, of false kill and rev, especially for rev, because people do not fuck with this nigga. 
Rev is not news. He's just 600,000 on YouTube and just talks about drama. He's a he's a commentary channel. He's not news about VTubers. He just happens to use a creepy avatar. Uh, if they get something slightly wrong, it's a huge deal compared to Inesu get something slightly wrong. Not to say that normal commentary don't get hit as well. Uh, some people aren't fond of them either because I'm a, I would like to say that it also depends on personally to me it depends on the medium of it if you're recording your videos live and like doing it on the fly kind of thing I'm okay with you making a mistake here or there there's nothing wrong with that that happens my issue is when they put out like a video essay where it's highly edited and you can tell that they've done multiple takes they've written the script and then there's still those mistakes. If you've been working on a video for months and you missed that a big mistake, that's not a good look. Part of why I like to do my my content this way, so like I get a little more grace with uh, fucking up. Because of the term of back with another mill. Help! Help! Help me! I would personally put myself under this category since I am someone that uses humor to cope with like basically everything. But but a lot of other commentary channels do the same. So it's it's enjoyable to watch. But this can be met with the statement of they don't take what they're talking about seriously. You can say that about like any kind of news VTuber directly because we're we're playing anime characters while talking about serious topics. It's just the kind of medium we use. First off, sit your ass down. It's okay. Take a chill pill. You don't need to pop a blood vessel over it. But I can see how it comes across that way. But in my eyes, I think we probably care about it more than others, in my opinion. Think about it. Usually for a video like Talia. I would, I will say that before he gets into his point, um, Commentary channels take it a lot more seriously than the viewers themselves because it's their fucking job to work to look into this stuff. Just saying. Videos, for example, to come out, it probably takes this nigga forever to research, script it, and then edit it. Due to that, pumping out a video a day is borderline, nah, fuck it, is impossible without help. And since we just can't pump out a video every day, we tend to spend more times on a subject and usually cover the subject after it's already simmered down a little bit. Now is what I just said possibly biased as fuck? Yes. Yes, it is most likely. It, yes, it most likely is. But I still think everything we say is biased as fuck. We all have our own biases. Don't worry about it, bro. There's some merit there. News VTubers set an expectation of basically daily uploads. And it's not just news vtuber specifically i mean if you want to just talk about pokemon and make your entire channel about talking about different aspects of pokemon you could put out daily content as long as you're like just figuring out or if, as long as you figure out how to properly do that like i only stream once a day but or not once a day, once a week typically, but I also put out daily videos because I double up on my content. I stream the stuff I'm talking about, and then I've turned that into videos that are released throughout the week. And hell, if I if I had time to stream a little more, I could be up to two to three video uploads a day with only a handful of streams. Just saying, it, it's all about how you grind out your content. Uh, thank you, Nanya. False also streams daily. I don't know about that. I don't watch his streams. I just watch his YouTube sometimes. And covering a story as fast as possible. Where commentary VTubers can wait it out to produce a more de detailed, for lack of a better term, and more edited video over a topic. Just, just saying it's um it's how you want to do your content if you want to 
you can do commentary that is all done live or you can do commentary where it's done off the stream and um highly edited you you can do both it it's not it's not exclusive to one way or the other it's just how you want to present your content why are you bullying me now this one i won't say that i agree with it but i can't say i disagree with it for those that missed it the uh, screen had said we make the community toxic I would say no, we actually don't make the community topic to toxic. We show the community's toxicity and depending on how you cover certain topics, you can contribute towards that toxicity. Sadly, drama and negative behavior spreads and gets clicks. And since that is the case, making a video over drama, and even drama baiting, is enticing to some people. Now that there is a large amount of drama videos surrounding the VTubing community, people from the outside looking in, at a glance, the community is seen as toxic and a little scary to join. That, that scene, that's also the same for a lot of things, like League of Legends, like, um... Call of Duty, any of the online shooters, honestly. Like, so many of the things, fucking My Little Pony had that as well with the brony fandom, where they were actually a lot of extremely toxic, horrible people, uh, Warhammer 40k, like, it's, it's prevalent within all communities, and, and really, like, what was I going to say? It's not something specific to the VTuber community, but yes, they outsiders looking in, just seeing like the biggest comment, the biggest channels like Rev being 600,000 as an indie VTuber, quote unquote, and he's just largely covering negative stuff regarding VTubers, and he also uses a childlike avatar. It's like, it doesn't give the VTuber community a very good look to the people on the outside. It's kind of hard to bring more people in when a lot of people are only talking or just highlighting the negativity and then not really offering any solutions about it. It's something that needs to be discussed a lot more. And to be honest, it do kind of get wicked down here. I'm not even going to lie to you. But by Welcome to the internet. By far... I've had a way more good experience being a part of this community than bad. And I know a lot of people have good experience as well. So why don't we cover those? For me Actually check out uh Petri Coral. She started doing uh positive VTuber news. She's only been doing like a couple videos so far, but she handle or she talks about fluff pieces like birthdays, debuts, anniversaries, that kind of stuff. Go check her out. Me personally, a lot of good things that I see happen usually already gets covered pretty fast, and I feel like I have nothing really meaningful to add. For example, Kudo and Matara just joined B Shoujo. Uh, I had a video planned for those two, but then everyone kind of said what I wanted to say, so I just scrapped the idea. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about them too. Like, um, apparently. From my understanding, Kuro and Matara in B Shoujo were other talents. He should do it anyways. Yeah, I think he should do it anyways. Just because other people have made content that has points that agree with you doesn't mean it's all. It doesn't mean your perspective is useless. You can still put out your opinion, dude. A lot of people love to see it. Hey, Drac, how you doing? Boop, you're snoot right back. And as for other commentary videos, I can't give you a definite answer, but negativity bias. Is this nigga serious? If you don't know what that is, I recommend picking up a book or uh, Googling it. Negativity bias is when you spend so too much time focusing on the negativity that you just can't notice the nice things about what's going on. Like, if you're focusing too much on your low numbers, yeah, I don't have enough engagers in chat kind of thing, 
and then you're just kind of forgetting about the other creators you've been engaging with and talking with and who have previously been enjoying spending time with you you, you gotta stop focusing on the negativity if you focus on the negativity you're just going to leave yourself in a spiral and it's only going to hurt your mental health in the long run leading to burnout relaxing floating around decide to be more social <laughs> well i'm glad you popped in but if you insist professor tokyo's definition it's when one bad thing outweighs a bunch of good things in other words if you get a compliment about your hair and then someone insults your hair right after that your mind would dwell on the insult more than the compliment at least for, for most people and the same applies to drama Commentary channels know that drama will get more clicks than something positive. Who am I watching? This is Static Tokyo on YouTube. First video of his I'm checking out. So far, I'm liking him. Plus, if you watch Kill or False, you know they use drama to get the initial click, they talk about the major drama, and all the happy stuff happens towards the end. That is also how news channels work. You know those fluff news pieces about, like, um kid helps old lady across the street news at five but then right before that they talk about the three people that were murdered down the street it's the fluff piece the stuff to get you off of all the horrible shit something i should actually be doing too because like i'll go on a while talking about pdf files and just making jokes about them but then there's no real palate cleanser after that it's just the video. Uh, so they are talking Sushi, about it. Stop. It's just right next to the stinky ass uh, gossip, you know. And honestly, I could keep going on and on, but I don't want to make this video way too long. So we're going to end it here. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe because a lot of people don't. Uh, hit the notification bell because I do stream here on YouTube. If you want to help me out financially, uh, I have a Patreon and now a cool little join button. You can become a YouTube member. Uh, I haven't gotten emotes uh, yet, but they are coming soon. Wait, YouTube actually gives us emotes if we have memberships? And uh, right now, you'll be able to view my uh, videos early if you are a member. Basically, kind of like my Patreon, but in my opinion, I think a YouTube member is kind of cooler because you get a little badge next to your name as well. I haven't worked on the badges yet, but you will get one soon. Trust, it will be shown. It will be represented. I got you, my boy. Oh my god, I would actually get an Oshi mark once I hit 500 subs on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Uh, I also got other links as well, like my Twitter, uh, Twitch, where I do random unplanned streams, and uh, my Discord server. Yeah, you know. And that's kind of it. Uh... All right, I'm out. Bye. Peace. Bye. Okay, no copyright, please. Okay. I want to check out more of this dude. I like his takes. I like that. I like that a lot. I want to see more opinions from him, too. I don't know how much I would go over his videos on stream a lot because like dude does put effort into his his um videos but like I have an issue with I would rather go over stream or videos that are like lower quality I don't feel as bad but like if you're putting in a shit ton of effort, like let's say Lucy Pyre, I'd rather not react to that kind of stuff on stream. Oh. Okay. Interesting videos looking over. Anyways, that was the issue with news vtubers and frankly i personally would only consider there to be like two actual news vtubers being uh kyo and false i, I don't think really anybody else mentioned well maybe Raimi. or whatever their name was i i honestly already forget i'm horrible at that shit
That that person that just talks about Hololive member stuff, I'd consider that VTuber news. But the largely the rest of people, commentators. But it Rima? Oh, thank you, Rima. But I will say, uh, you want positivity? Hello, and welcome back. One second, sweetheart. Cute fucking cat girl. Um, if you want positivity news VTubers, check out Petra Coral. I'm not going to go over this full video right now, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of a, a VTuber commentary slash news channel that doesn't focus on the negativity. Back to that time of the month again, it's VTuber News, featuring your favorite. For those that don't know, Petra Coral was the one that hosted the Hidden Gems VTuber Awards back in a bit ago. Favorite small and or indie VTubers. I have some awesome things to share with you. Right. Also, another thing, she doesn't even focus on big VTubers. She focuses on positive news of small VTubers to showcase them. I really like the idea. Thank you to those that have submitted. I really can't wait to share with you some awesome news featuring birthdays, debuts, charity events, music releases, and a whole bunch of other cool things. If you haven't already, I'm actually debuting myself on November 11th. I really hope you can come see my amazing new model. Ooh. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Starting from the very top. Great singer as well. I haven't actually heard her singing voice yet. But yeah, she goes over a lot of Here's a segment for anniversaries, birthdays, charity events, debuts. Wow, there's so many <laughs> debuts and model reveals. But yeah, she does not talk about the drama. She doesn't talk about the underbelly of the VTuber scene. That's, that's what the terrible commentary VTubers like me and Rev are. We're the ones that talk about the horrible shit, and I'm the one that's not going to lie to you about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe for more content, and if you want to join the community, feel free to check out the Discord. I love to voice chat in there, so if you want to ever talk, I'm usually available. Well, in the afternoons.